Today, the pandemic immigration policy known as Title 42 is coming to an end. It blocked migrants from crossing the border to slow the spread of COVID. And now the Biden administration begins a new policy of denying asylum to migrants who arrive at the U.S.-Mexico border without first applying online or seeking protection in a country they pass through. After the expiration tonight at midnight, leaders are expecting a surge of people trying to enter the U.S. And though we are hundreds of miles from the southern border, the district is bracing for the impact and the expected influx of migrants seeking refuge in the U.S. So how are we footing the bill? Abby Larico joining us live from Northwest D.C. to verify this angle of the story. Abby, good morning. Hey, Annie, good morning to you. I'm outside the Naval Observatory. The residents of the vice president were just Wednesday evening. A bus from Texas carrying dozens of migrants seeking a better life in this country was dropped off here instead looking for what to do next. Now, this is not the first time this has happened. And in fact, we're starting to see signs here just this morning that there could be another bus on its way here today. And many expect this to be more frequent in the coming days. Is Washington, D.C. getting any federal financial support to help accommodate these new arrivals? We looked to several sources on this, and according to the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the United Way, yes. This month, FEMA's Emergency Food and Shelter Program announced more than $332 million in funds allocated to communities, quote, receiving non-citizens released from custody as they await the outcome of their immigration proceedings. United Way National Capital Region is set to receive more than $4.2 million of that which the organization tells us will go to their nonprofit partner, SAMU First Response, to put to use on the ground. District of Columbia Department of Human Services is getting more than $7.2 million from FEMA. Wednesday, D.C. DHS did not respond to our request for more information on the plan for that money. The local Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network, who we've seen working with new migrant arrivals for months, tells us they're not getting any funding from the federal or local government, relying on donations but pushing district government to do more. This week, Mayor Muriel Bowser told WUSA 9, D.C. doesn't have capacity for more migrant families in its shelters. We have limited space. Um, and we've hit those numbers in the last week um, for limitations in the district. Migrant advocates say they want to see more action from the district to get people out of shelters and keep them off the streets. The mayor, however, contends that this is a federal issue. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, I'm Abby Larico, WUSA 9.